Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, so I'm going to play this part for you guys, and then I'm going to respond with this with some commentary. But you need to hear this, and I think a lot of us, when they hear this audio or when you hear this audio, because I've already heard it, you're going to be scratching your head. But I'm going to let you hear for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Hearing is better than you know what i'm saying is better than seeing sometimes when you hear this you're gonna be like what watch this you know the guy totally disrespected me by throwing you know uh flowers and roses at my feet mm -hmm. i said you know i'm not gonna trip on that you know i'm gonna keep my composure and remain who i am and go out there and have fun mm -hmm. and go do what i do and that's what happened yeah, that was weird that I was kind of, I didn't understand that. First, I thought maybe it was scripted that he came out and, you know, threw him down at your feet. But that that was real. Like, like that was some real disrespect. Total disrespect. Mm -hmm. And, you know, with the world, you know, with my country and my people seeing that, um, nobody came to my defense. So a lot of times we talk about us helping and supporting one another. Um, no one came to my defense. No one went on Twitter. No one went on Instagram and said, you know what? This ain't right. Mm. You know, I'm talking about my culture. I'm talking about my people. No one came out and said, you know what? This is totally wrong. But, you know, we don't trip on that. What we do is, you know, like we always do. Whatever happens, we, we, we make the best of the situation that we put in. Okay, first of all, I have no idea what Floyd Mayweather is talking about. And first of all, to be fair, that fight came on at some weird time, I think, in the morning. Because he was fighting in Japan. Okay. And for the most part, most people didn't even want to cover it. Such as myself. And then I got to be clear um, I didn't know he threw flowers at your feet. And then, first of all, I don't know what that means because I don't know what it means somebody throwing flowers at your feet in Japan because, one, I've never been to Japan and I do not have a understanding of Japanese culture like probably a lot of us uh, don't have an understanding of Japanese culture. But for some reason, Floyd tries to once again take a shot at the black community. Now, keep in mind, this is the same Floyd Mayweather that said all lives matter. This is the same Floyd Mayweather that basically thumbed his his, you know, he, you know, thumbed us and thumbed his finger up at us, you know, and basically mocked us when it came to. The Colin Kaepernick situation talking about he uh, uh, a leader, not a follower, which that's very debatable. And like I said, he was disrespecting us when it came to the Gucci thing and just several other occasions where Floyd has basically disrespected on the community that he says that don't support him. First of all, when I got on YouTube back in 2015, I was one of the I was one of the people that went hard in the paint for Floyd Mayweather when I saw the racism directed towards him, how people were disrespecting him, disrespecting black people. And I defended Floyd Mayweather wholeheartedly. Now I give Floyd Mayweather credit. He did defend Kyrie Irving for his stance on not wanting to take the potion, but that's and that's fine. But for Floyd to sit up there and try to say that the black community don't support him, should the black community still be supporting him? And once again, this is the same Floyd Mayweather that said that Mexicans helped get him where he was. He basically said we weren't buying his pay-per-views, which is a damn lie. And once again, Floyd, if you listen to this video, why don't you give back the money or tell, you know, um, you, you know, basically the cable outlets to basically give us back our money since us black people didn't support you. So 
I don't know why the fuck Floyd does this shit, but it's just very annoying. And it's just flat out, it's just flat out buck dancing. It's funny how you get dudes like Floyd Mayweather and Kanye West. Now Kanye West recently was spotted in a soul food restaurant due to the fact that, you know, basically uh, the Jewish people told him to go fuck himself. And they basically cut his ass off from social media. But now he find himself going eating at a soul food restaurant. So this happens all the time. But Floyd been doing this stuff. And I don't know why Floyd does this. It's really weak of him. And Floyd Mayweather has shown uh, beta male traits for years. A lot of people believe that he's envious of the popularity of Deontay Wilder, which I'll talk about that in another video. And Floyd just doesn't want to share the limelight with anybody. Floyd just shows to a certain degree he has a Napoleon complex and he's just very insecure. He want everybody talking about him. OK, Floyd, I'm going to give you what you want. But I'm going to talk about you in a way you ain't going to like. Now, keep in mind, it's funny how Floyd comes out and says that Canelo should fight other Mexican fighters and he should fight David Benavides. And I understand that because it should happen. Now, I'm not going to speak on the tribalism thing, you know, the Mexican versus Mexican thing, because I'm not Mexican. That's something that the Mexicans going to have to discuss amongst each other. But as a boxing fan... And a fan of the sport, that, that's a fight that people are clamoring for. Okay, that's just that's just real talk. I want to see that fight. I would love to see that fight. And I hope somewhere down the line it, it happens. But it's funny that Floyd Mayweather is speaking on Canelo not fighting, you know, other Mexicans. Because you can make an argument that Floyd didn't want to fight top tier black fighters. You know, at the end of the day, a lot of people believe, which, like I said before, Floyd was a great fighter. He was a, a brilliant fighter. He, you know what I'm saying? He made the system work for him in his favor. But Floyd, Floyd Mayweather's legacy and reputation will be taunted due to the fact that Floyd did not try to fight the best black fighters that was out there. Now, I know people going to say, well, you know, you know, when Andre Berto fought, you know, Ortiz, if Berto would have won, Floyd would have fought him. OK, and no disrespect to Andre Berto was Andre Berto like what you would call a top tier fighter. And, he, you know, a top tier fighter, he's a good fighter. But let's just face the fact you can make an argument about that. And Andre Berto was a great fighter, and I'm not trying to disrespect Andre Berto. And then at the same time, Floyd, once again, didn't fight Andre Berto to basically he, Andre Berto uh, has suffered a, a few losses. But we'll never know. What if Andre Berto would have would have won? Would Floyd have tried to fight Ortiz? Still, you just never know. But you look at the fact Floyd didn't fight Paul Williams. There were some other people people out there I, I I could name. You know. But keep in mind, even towards the tail end of his career, you know people accused him of ducking Keith Thurman. You know. At Terrence Crawford, he wasn't in that weight class yet. You know, Terrence Crawford didn't move up to welterweight till 2018. And we all see what's going on with Terrence Crawford. Very sad that this fight looked like it's not going to happen. But, yeah, for years, uh, Floyd been, like, taking digs at the black community. And I'm just going to say what a lot of niggas are scared to say. Floyd been lying on the black community. So I guess Floyd don't see, I, I mean, for real, I guess Floyd didn't see none of these videos where people were riding for him. When these, the, you know, the same people that you say help you get where you, you are, the Mexicans, when they was calling you all kind of mayates and talking about black people, talking about black fighters. 
Where was you at when Abel Sanchez made his remarks about black fighters can't sell? Why didn't you call him out? But you trying to call us out. That shit is cowardly and it just need to be said. I mean, like I said, I'm not worried about no backlash because all you, you know, I already know I'm blacklisted as far as covering PBC events, certain PBC events. So I'm not worried about that. I mean, where was you at, Floyd, when, you know, Steve Kim was disrespecting Carissa Shields? Okay. Where was you at when Steve Kim said any time a PBC fighter loses, it's a good damn boxing. So, I mean, don't try to pull out your blackness card You send, uh, or, or, or the fake uh, pro-black card. Damn, you sound like some of these dudes on YouTube. Yeah. No wonder you and Fred used to be cool with each other. Because you and him just like two fake ass pro-black niggas. Or should I say opportunist? You know. So, with that being said, uh, Floyd, he need to really be quiet, man. I, I, I mean, the hypocrite that Floyd Mayweather has shown to be, I mean, I'm just like, you gotta be kidding me. Nothing but hypocrisy coming out of Floyd's mouth saying that. So, I'm just keeping it a buck. This needed to be said, man. Floyd, just stop it, bro. You make yourself look worse and more desperate and attention seeking every day. Once again, this is what I'm talking about. Floyd, once again, trying to steal shine from Deontay Wilder. Just keeping it a buck, man. Like I said, a pattern. He wasn't happy with one story, so now he needs to create another story via, you know, Ben Thompson, his boy from Fight Hype. And I don't have no issue with Ben Thompson. I, I've spoken to Ben Thompson uh, briefly. I spoke to him. Um, I spoke to him, you know, over the phone when I was at uh, Bill Haney's house. So I have no issue with Ben Thompson. But Floyd, yeah. Yeah. Stop it, Floyd. Anyway, it's your boy Town Biz, man. I'm out.